I'm supposed to be going to a Christmas party this evening and I promise you if by the end of this video I am not feeling like a sexy, pretty 10 out of 10 bad, we're not going to swear, bad girl, <laughs> I'm not going because I don't know what happens but every, I'd probably say once a month, my face changes like Tell me I'm not crazy, does this happen to anyone else? I feel like I have seen it on TikTok before, but I won't change my makeup routine, I won't change my skincare routine, I won't change anything, but all of a sudden, my face looks different. Like, who is that? I'm in my ugly era, okay, so I need to glow up, I need to look pretty, I need to feel my best, I need to look sexy, otherwise, I'm not going. I'm gonna do a Grinch, that's it. I'm not going, that's gonna be me. Thought I would film a little get ready with me. I feel like I've not filmed a get ready with me in so long. It's usually like a makeup tutorial, but if you're looking for a makeup tutorial, then this is not the video. I always get comments like, she talks so much. Yes, I'm in the mood to talk today. So I'm not gonna do this as a makeup tutorial, especially because I actually don't know what I'm gonna do. I feel like I wanna change up my makeup routine today a little bit. So it's not gonna be a makeup tutorial. I'll probably talk through what I'm doing, but but I thought we could just have a chat as well. Like I'm just in the mood to talk and feel like I'm getting ready with someone. I do fancy doing some sort of like Christmas glam. I don't usually use sparkles and I'm feeling a sparkly eye, like that kind of vibe. I don't really do full beat anymore. I much prefer a more natural makeup, but obviously that is not working for me right now. So we're going we're going full beat. Before I start, we actually have a sponsor for this video and it's a brand that I love. You guys know I'm so into jewellery. I love jewellery and Ana Luisa has just sent me some of their pieces. If I could have one jewellery item out of anything, it would be a really simple pair of gold hoops. Like that is my thing and Ana Luisa has sent me a couple so I'm gonna put them in now and I'll show you what I got. First of all they come in these gorgeous little bags which I think is a really nice touch and then on the inside it just has the jewellery. So gorgeous they're just like a are they called like huggable earrings they're really small and dainty and then we also have these like medium ones and then these ones are my favourite these are the ones I'm gonna wear this evening. These are more like an oval shape um, and yeah, these are my favourites, so I'm going to pop these in now. In fact, I think I'm going to try and stack them, because I do have quite a few piercings in this ear, but I don't usually wear many earrings in it anymore. I just do, like, the two. So I think I might try and layer them a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to do the medium ones on the next hole. Oh my god, they're so gorgeous. And then I'm going to do one of the little ones and I'm just going to pop that in like the top of my ear. I feel like because I've not worn an earring up here in so long, I'm having to like re-pierce it. Ah! Oh my god. Oh, we're through. We're through. Don't try that at home. Oh, that looks so cute. I actually don't know why I stopped wearing earrings up there. Sorry, don't mind my little baby hairs. Um, and then I also got this necklace, which I'm going to pop on now. So it's just a gold necklace with this little like pearlescent pendant. So I'm going to put that on. So I'm really conscious about showing my nails because they are really bad. I don't have any acrylic on, which is very unlike me. Whenever I wear gel, it always just chips off. I think I'm just not very careful in general. This goes so well with what I'm wearing tonight. I love this pearlescent pendant. By the way, I do have a top on. I don't know why it looks like I've not. She's here. Oh my God. That is so cute. That is literally like the perfect size as well. I love gold jewelry. I feel like it can really, even when you've got no makeup on, it can really just, Massive thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this part of the video. I'm going to leave a link to their website down below. They literally have the most beautiful jewellery. They do gold, they do silver. Um, I'm just in my gold era at the minute. I do go through periods where I prefer silver, but I feel at the minute I'm more of a gold girl. Yeah, I'm going to leave a link to their website down below. Definitely check them out and... 
yeah, we'll move on to the makeup. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit just so you can see what I'm doing because I'm probably not gonna talk through the makeup as in depth as normal. But I've already done my eyebrows and if you wanna see how I did them, I did just post a makeup tutorial and it's exactly the same, but I don't really do too much with them anymore. Because I tint them and because I don't really like a heavy eyebrow, I literally just put some gel in. I'm gonna start on my eyes today. I've not started on my eyes in a while because to be honest, I've not really been doing much on my eyes. I've just put a little bit through the crease and then done a liner and that's about it. But today, I'm gonna... I don't know whether to do like a dark, smoky eye or do like a glitter. Not a glitter, but like a little bit of shimmer. It's so funny that I'm going to a Christmas party in November. But I love when Christmas is dragged out because I was deprived of Christmas growing up. So I do like to drag it out. I'm just setting that concealer down with some powder. I'm still using this huge Laura Mercier powder. It's literally so inconvenient that the pot's this big, especially with me traveling. Um, I'm actually going to London next week for a few days. So I thought I might vlog that actually. It's like a little solo trip to London, which will be nice. I was actually thinking about doing a bit of a solo trip towards the end of the year, but I don't really know where it's hot and not super far away because I was thinking, I don't know, like where's not really far, but still hot because if I'm traveling, I'm not gonna travel to somewhere where it's gonna rain. How do? Because I'll just end up being sat in my hotel room. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette. I've been so excited to try this properly. Um, I'm going to go in with this shade first. Very conscious of my nails. I will say this again. Please ignore them. I am getting them done tomorrow. I probably should have had them done today, but time just ran away with me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use this shade in my crease. Going back to it, does anyone else have those periods of time where... One day they just wake up and they don't look like themselves. I feel like I have seen it on TikTok because I thought it was just me, but I've not changed anything. Like, sometimes I feel like I'll do my makeup and be like, wow, yeah, like, fire. <laughs> but then other times I'm like, what the hell have you done? And I've not changed anything. What is that? Although I've been learning recently on TikTok. But do you know that women have two puberties? Why was we not taught that in school? And I feel like I'm going through mine at the minute. And that explains my bad skin. I mean, it's getting better now. But I basically had, I don't know whether it was like a little bit of acne. I mean, I've never had acne or I've never really suffered with my skin. Like, thank God. But over the past, I'd probably say like two months, my skin has really just not been happy. And... I've just been breaking out all the time, but maybe I'm going through my second puberty. I'm not gonna lie, I do feel different. And my cousin always said to me, as soon as you turn 25, it's so weird, like you just become yourself, like you become who you actually are. And I so feel that, like all the decisions that I was making as a young 20 year old or like a teen, I'm grateful that I made them because obviously I'm here now and I'm doing what I love and I'm at this stage in my life but I just I'm like where was your logic when you was thinking that or dating him or do you know what I mean yeah I'm going through what TikTok is calling my second puberty I don't know whether it is actually puberty or it's just like I don't know but I want to do some more research on it maybe let's all google the second puberty and educate ourselves on it because obviously high school did not want to educate us on a second puberty but that was another thing like suddenly out of nowhere and I know I'm gonna get comments like you're literally like an ironing board sure okay but suddenly out of nowhere I have hips like I've just grown hips I'm more like even facially I feel like I don't look as baby faced as I used to I always thought being 25 would be my scary age I always said 25 would be my scary age and if I wasn't married by 25 I'd feel like a failure and it's quite the opposite I feel like my life is just beginning and I can confidently tell you if you're someone that is scared of getting older for me life actually gets better and better like please if you're in your early 20s and you're like oh my god being 25 is disgusting someone actually said that to Manny and oh, he literally got so upset. So he was in the corner shop the other day and I did think this was weird. So we had this corner shop in our building 
and Manny's got really friendly with one of the guys there and they was just having a chat and whatever and then he asked how old Manny was and he said 25 and he was like oh that's disgusting pardon to be fair I probably thought 25 was old when I was like 19 20 whatever but my life is just beginning so that's what I'm gonna tell myself okay what are we gonna do next are we gonna do a little bit of a darker outer corner yeah I'm gonna do a little bit a little bit in the outer corner so I'm gonna go in with the shade next to it which is this red shade this is almost given modern renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills remember when we all used to use that I feel like all the OGs of like YouTube 2018 used to always use modern renaissance by the way I have no idea what I'm doing with this makeup it could end up being a complete disaster. All I know is that I just want to look more glam than I have been doing recently because I've really just been in my natural makeup era. So far, by the way, this eyeshadow palette is delicious. Like, it's so pigmented. I won't lie, I don't enjoy going out as much anymore. I keep trying to force it. Like, I know going to a Christmas party and, like, events is so much fun and, like, I love that. But I've been going to, I went to the club over the weekend and it's just not for me anymore. And that's really sad. Like I always thought that I would love going out and clubbing and because I do love clubbing. Like I find it so fun going out with your friends, dancing, like getting tips. Like I love that. But now I actually am more of a dinner and drinks kind of girl. I'm more of a cozy girl. I just love my own apartment and I love being with my boyfriend and my friends um, and I feel like my clubbing era is almost over. I mean I still do enjoy it occasionally and if you catch me shaking my ass in a club then mind your business <laughs> but I just don't love it as much as I used to, I don't know. So I'm just going to mix this shade and this shade and we're going to hope for the best. I've not applied a shimmer on my eyelids in so long that I almost forgot how they go on. Like, do I need to wet my brush? Oh no, that's gone on. <gasps> that's so cute. It's weird because I've not looked at myself with this much eye makeup on in a while. I mean, it's really not been that long. It's been like a month, but still. Oh, I like that way more than I thought I would. I thought it was going to look a little bit too much then. But no, that's really cute. I'm going to do a little bit of a wing as well, just because I am going to put some lashes on today. I've been using um, UK Lash, and it's so good. Like, it's making my eyelashes grow so long now. I was wearing lash extensions for a while. They ripped my eyelashes out, and my lashes just never grew back to what they used to be. So I started using UK Lash, and wow, it's so good. Right, I think I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to pop some mascara on, and then some lashes, which I'm going to do off camera. And I'll be back. The only thing is, this glitter is dropping down a little bit. So I'm probably going to end up with a glittery face by the end of the night, but it's Christmas, so it doesn't matter. She's almost full beat. Like, this is very weird. I've not seen myself in lashes for a very long time, but I forgot how much I loved these. These are the Unicorn Cosmetics in collaboration with Rachel Leary. This is a very proud friend moment. And these are the best. Like, they're so glam. They're so Rachel as well. These are called Bedroom Eyes very Rachel um but yeah I'm obsessed I feel like it really has just pulled everything together also really quick tip this is so random and you guys probably do this already but give your lashes like when you put your lash glue on give them a little bit longer than you think because I put my lash glue on I went to go and pee I then made a drink I came back I put them on and they literally stuck on so easily like they just one press and it was done. On to skin. Obviously, I'm going to use my skin food. I've not really been doing much on my skin recently and I still don't really want to do that much. I'm just not really into like a heavy foundation at the minute. It's not very me. It's not very new era Madison. So I think what I'm going to do, I've never tried this before, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to mix my Iconic Radiance Booster. I literally wear this all the time. You guys know I should be like ambassador for this product because I'm obsessed. I'm going to mix this 
with a skin tin. I'm going to mix it with the Fenty Beauty Skin Tin. And hopefully this gives me a really dewy, gorgeous looking skin. Also, I know this is a little bit darker, but I'm just matching my neck because I put some instant tan on. This is the first time I've had to put instant tan on in so long. But I'm starting to look pale. It's that time of year now. Oh my God. So when I was speaking about my cozy era, I have to tell you, I am obsessed with going to the cinema at the minute. I don't know why there's just something so comforting and cozy about going to the cinema this time of year. The two movies that I've watched recently where I would recommend, there's three that I've watched, but one of them was just so weird. I think I did a TikTok about it. It was called Barbarian. Would not recommend. Like, I mean, I, I'm glad I went to the cinema for the experience. Like, I don't mind watching a bad film if I'm at the cinema because I actually just enjoy being at the cinema. But Barbarian was just terrible and would not recommend. I saw Scarface in the cinema recently as well, like the old Scarface, and that was amazing to watch. But the two that I've watched recently is The New Black Panther, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Cried my eyes out, felt like I could fight anything. It's almost like quite um, like girl empowering as well, which I thought was nice. So I watched Black Panther. And last night we went to the, the cinema again and we watched a movie called Menu and it is so good. Like I wasn't really expecting anything from it. I just wanted to go to the cinema to be honest and we didn't want to watch Black Panther twice in one week because we do want to go again and see it. So we decided to watch the menu and was so pleasantly surprised. Like that concept is my kind of thing like where it's just shocking. It's, it's so good. Like watch the trailer and yeah. I loved it. Okay, then I'm gonna use the Born This Way concealer. I've not used this for a while, but I'm in the mood. In fact, I'm gonna do bronzer first. I'm gonna use a cream bronzer, and I'm gonna use the Refi in tan. This is like a powder brush, which I just like squeeze. <laughs> I probably need a smaller one, but this is working for now. Manny wants to go to, so there's a big ice skating rink in Manchester at the minute and he wants to go but number one if he falls over or like starts struggling while he's ice skating I'm scared of getting the ick. I always think you can't get the ick if you're in love but still it wouldn't be an enjoyable experience me watching my boyfriend fall all over the place. So there's that and also I despise being cold like being cold is my worst thing in the world. I love fashion as you guys know but I would sacrifice fashion for being warm like I don't care if I look like Joey from Friends when he tries all Chandler's clothes on if it means I'm going to be warm then it's fine um okay now I'm going to go in with the Born This Way concealer I've not used it in ages but I kind of want a bit of a brighter under eye and this one's quite bright this is in the shade vanilla do you know what I was thinking before so I watched the first England game Imagine if England actually win the World Cup. Sorry, this is so random, but I was thinking, imagine Christmas, like the Christmas spirit mixed with the World Cup spirit bringing it home. That would be the best thing ever. So for once, I'm actually going to root for England. Not for once, because I always root for England. But I'm going to be more like, please, let's win. Because can you imagine how amazing the festive spirit would be. Like even people that aren't necessarily bothered about Christmas or like very festive, even the Scrooges of the world and the Grinches of the world will be feeling the festive spirit. Can someone let me know when the last World Cup was? Because if it was four years ago, then time is flying way quicker than I thought it was. I saw this TikTok that I wanna try where you just say random stuff. So I'm gonna try and film it. And while, when we watch the next England game, which I think is on Friday, when we watch it, I'm just going to start shouting random stuff at the TV and see how he reacts. Because Manny actually used to play football. He used to be a footballer. So I feel like he would just be like, Mads, do you even know what you're saying here? Also, quick side note, using a powder puff for your powder under your eyes i only use it under my eyes because otherwise it is a little bit too matte everywhere else but using it under your eyes will literally make you look so flawless and then with the rest of my face i'm just taking a big powder brush and i'm just gonna lightly 
so everywhere else i've forgotten so many steps it's because i'm talking i always do this whenever i'm getting ready with anyone or i'm doing a get ready with me i always forget steps i've literally forgotten my favorite step which is cream blush cream blush <laughs> cream blush so we're gonna have to go in with powder brush oh, why can't i say blush i'm gonna use this kylie blush i've not used this in a while so we'll use it today i really want to try the cold like i'm cold trend where it's like really red here and then a little bit of glitter under the eye if you know what i mean then you know but type it in on tiktok it's such a cute trend like i actually really like that kind of makeup at the minute i almost like a little bit too much blush i'm gonna use the fenty beauty face and eye palette to contour my nose which i do every single time I actually can't not contour my nose even if i'm doing more of a natural makeup i just contour it slightly i feel like it makes such a difference especially on pictures i'm gonna finish on my eyes and then oh my god we're nearly done so i'm gonna use are we gonna do waterline sure whenever i want to look really sultry and sexy waterline eyeliner is a go-to it's a must i feel like it just makes your eyes look so sexy for my lips i was gonna use morphe sweet tea but i think i want something a little bit darker so i'm gonna use mac cork and i'm gonna use mac yash i feel like i'm still a mac girl like if you ever worked there i feel like you will always be a mac girl at heart i always try and give myself quite a pouty lip so i overdraw the center and then i connect it this fringe is gonna sit so weird today i know it um although it's still looking quite big and bouncy i thought it would have dropped i was gonna do a glossy lip today but i think because i've got so much shimmer on my eyes i think i'm gonna do a matte lip it's so weird i've not seen myself full beat in so long but i love it I love it. I feel like it looks very Christmassy as well. So this is the makeup. I'm going to go get myself ready. I've got 10 minutes before I need to leave the house. So um, I'm going to have to rush off. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. And thanks for getting ready with me. I know I just waffled for so long. But I really needed that. And a massive thank you to Anna Louisa for sponsoring this video also. I'm going to leave a link down below. So definitely check them out. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.